Why hello you people from Earth and outer space, it is I, Alexander from the universe. In this episode of Let's Rust, we'll enter the world of while loops. A while loop is kind of like the loop, although it will loop for as long as an expression inside the loop is true. Because you might very well remember the simple loop, the loop that will loop forever and just loop the way into loop oblivion. That's along the loop loop. But the while loop, that's slightly different. Because when creating a while loop, we tap in while, and then we tap in a condition. So we could tap in true, we could tap in false, or we could tap in uh, one equals one, like so. Let's say we tap this in. While one equals one, this loop is gonna go and this is the same as tapping in while true so for as long as the while whatever comes after that is true it's gonna loop it might not actually be very interesting this will work the exact same way as the loop loop uh, we tap something we print a line we say hello people and that is a very bad spell people but poople that works just as well. <laughs> oh man so let's go ahead and run this, shall we? Run it using cargo run, and it's gonna say hello poople for the rest of eternity. We're gonna end that. So you will probably want something a little more interesting going on in here. So let's actually define a variable here that we call i for index. Uh, this is gonna get a little more clear in a second. Uh, we're, we're gonna make sure that this is mutable because we wanna be able to change this. We're gonna set it to, uh, let's set it to 10, shall we? Let's do a countdown. So whenever it enters the loop, we wanna say this number. Now this is gonna go on forever, but the condition, we can include this variable in this condition here, this right here. We can say while i is not equal to zero. So this loop is gonna loop for as long as i is not equal to zero. And as always, this is gonna do the exact same thing. If we were to run this, it's gonna go on forever. It's gonna say 10, 10, 10, because i actually never changes. So at the end of this loop, we're gonna do i minus equals one. We're gonna remove, subtract one value from the i variable. If we run this now, you're gonna see we get 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And this then is for the fact that we are subtracting one value from i every time and all of a sudden reaches zero and it's not gonna enter the loop. So if we wanted to, we could do a count up <laughs> as opposed to count down. We can do a count up. I don't even know if that's what it's called. So we're gonna say while i is less than 10, we wanna add one to the i variable we're to run this now, it's gonna say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the 10, well, we're saying while i is less than 10. So if it's 10, it's gonna end. That's why we're not getting the 10. If we also wanna include the 10, we do i is less than or equal to 10. And perhaps we don't want the first zero being shown here. Uh, then we can set i to one. And run it again, it's gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But usually when doing loops, you're gonna want the index numbers to start on from zero. And you're gonna notice this as soon as we get into another type of loop, which we'll discuss in the next episode. But well, while loops, they're kinda cool, man. Because imagine if we wanted to type out how many cars we got, and the number of cars we have is it's getting bigger all the time. So we have Hmm, <laughs> cars. Now this is gonna print. We have zero cars. Oh, we have one car. Hooray! We have two cars, three cars, four cars, five cars, six cars, seven cars, eight cars, nine cars. And now we can start combining things as well. And we probably want to call this cars if we want to work with it as a cars. Change all these eyes into cars as well as this one. The so many cars we have is gonna do the exact same thing. Uh, now. It, rather than typing out, we have <laughs> cars. Uh, we'll, we'll print this out, but then we'll also have a match here, which matches for cars. And if we have zero cars, it says all. If we have one car, 
then it's gonna say Ray car <laughs> if we had two cars and we could just go on like this forever two cars man and we could do the default as well and we could be like hey man we have a lot of cars like so or just not include the comma because it's not necessary for the last arm and it's gonna say expected <laughs> found reference oh no this is so bad and you know why because we never printed those out <laughs> so much we're trying to do things fast there we go so much better bada bam boom Oh, this is so great, man. We have zero cars. Oh, we have one car. Hooray, cars. We have one cars. Let's <laughs> have it like this. Let's do car. Cars like that. So it can include the S. Now we could be a little more specific on that. We could actually make it say that we have, uh, if we were to do this, for example, and uh, end it like that. And then if cars is equal to one, then what we want to do is print out and do a print line here uh, s no without the s just period else print line s bam all of a sudden when we run this it's going to say we have zero cars we have one car we have two cars we have three cars four cars five Beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Why goodbye, you people from Earth and outer space. Feel free to leave a comment saying something either hilarious or perhaps even a like. Until next time.